This image has been spreading around and reposted again and again, saying that there are bees outside making honey from dead animal carcasses. Meat honey. I'm sorry to say, but meat honey isn't true. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Vulture bees still produce honey by collecting nectar. They simply eat meat and bring the rotting flesh back to their hives to feed to the young. And we have to talk about how this misinformation started. Because there are pages after pages of blogs talking about meat honey and YouTube channels giving misinformation, even though we don't even have an image or video clearly showing vulture bee honey. If you tried researching this, you most likely went to Wikipedia, understanding that vulture bees produce a honey-like substance likely derived from the bee's diet of carrion. And then reading that the flavour of this honey resembling substance is intense, smoky, and salty, or uniquely sweet. Both which don't really hold grounds if you follow the sources in the article itself. Going into the source for the flavour on the website Misfit Animals, we hardly find any sources for the taste. Who are these some people? Is it CNN? Because on a CNN article, nowhere did it say that Ultra Bee honey is made from meat. And also, specifically, it says that honey and meat are stored separately. So where did the smoky come from? Did people from Misfit Animals try them? I mean, the writers from Misfit Animals, according to their about page, don't really have any credentials to support the claims on the Voucher Bee article. They're not food writers who went to taste test the honey, nor were they bee experts. They were simply people who liked animals and then created a website and named themselves an expert. Their insect slash pest expert has no formal education on the matter and despite the claim to provide sources, they just didn't. To go back to the statement in Wikipedia about a honey-like substance likely derived from the bee's diet, that's simply a bad summary and bad writing. Wikipedia does the right thing of linking the original research article in 2021. But down here the paragraph clearly states that there are two possible explanations for how the bees use the flesh. The first explanation is that the flesh is stored in wax pots which is then mixed with honey to become a paste. Which could arguably be called meat honey. But clearly the bunks are not derived from nectar line in Wikipedia. And that meat honey image going around. I should also point out that CNN took a statement from one of the doctoral students in that study who said that the meat is stored in special chambers that are separate from where the honey is stored. So as far as we can confirm, it's not meat honey, it's meat and honey. The second theory for the meat is that the bees eat the meat to produce hypopharyngeal gland secretions, which would put it closer to royal jelly, a secretion used to feed the queen bee and larvae. I'm not too sure why these are competing explanations, like why can't the bees just use the meat to do both? But in any case, we are still not quite at the stage where we can start wondering if it is possible to feed bees things like BBQ ribs, fried chicken, or beef bourguignon to elevate our food fetishes to the next level. Because as far as I can find, what you may consider meat honey may actually kill you. In a Tumblr blog by a PhD student and bee neuroethologist from Australia, the post says that as of yet, no one has tried this honey because it probably would kill them or at the very least make them sick. Now, the poster's PhD doesn't seem to be revolved around voucher bees, but it sure is more reliable than a website that used the wrong image for the very thing they are talking about, but happened to have better search engine optimization. Voucher bees are stingless bees in the genus Trigona, but this particular image is of the Trigona for Viventry species, which is a stingless bee but not a voucher bee, and you can see this species name in a JPEG file that you downloaded from. So why is this caption's voucher bee? Misfit animals? And that bee in a JPEG you see being spread across social media and at the start of the video, that's also not a voucher bee. That's Trigona spinipis, which is a stingless bee but not a voucher. <laughs> in any case, scientists have placed pieces of raw chicken meat to confirm that there are three species of voucher bees, so far, that exclusively eat meat for protein. The purpose here is to understand the gut microbiomes of the bees, which did confirm to be different from the usual vegetarian bees and instead much more similar to vouchers like hyenas and other carrion feeders. Without these microbes, they could die from eating carrion. But as it turns out, three separate species of normally vegetarian bees were also interested in the chicken, and their gut microbiomes were also slightly different. Which if we look back to history, isn't a huge surprise since bumblebees were recorded harvesting meat as far back as the 18th century. You see, bees and wasps share a common carnivorous ancestor, and you can consider bees as essentially vegetarian wasps. 
Bees get carbohydrates by feeding on nectar and get protein from pollen. What makes vulture bees unique is that instead of feeding on pollen, they feed on carrion exclusively as a protein source. This difference can be seen in the hind legs, which has a reduced pollen basket compared to vegetarian bees, and that they have mandibles capable of tearing off flesh. The study that I got this picture from also seemed to observe that the wax pot for Trigona hypogea contained honey, but the other two species seem to also contain some other kind of paste. And that's about all that I find interesting and relevant to meat honey. If you want to know more about vulture bees like their gut microbes or nesting behaviour, you can read the studies and articles linked below. I'm not a scientist or bee expert, just a fat boy who wants to know more about meat honey.